honorable members, the brutal gang rape and murder of Anin Poison and other women and, girl, and girls in recent times has brought into sharp focus the need for unity in action to eradicate the scourge. <laughs> the brutality and cruelty meted out to defenseless women is unacceptable and has no place in our country. <laughs> Last year, the National Council on Gender-Based Violence was established. It comprises government, non-governmental organizations, community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, academia, research institutions, government, women, gr women groups, and representation from women, children, and persons with disabilities. We urge this coordinating structure to make the campaign of fighting violence against women an everyday campaign. We applaud all sectors for the campaigns that have taken place already, highlighting that such acts will not be tolerated in our country. I have directed law enforcement agencies to treat these cases with the utmost agency and importance. The family violence child protection and sexual offenses units, which were reestablished in 2010, have increased person, personnel. During the last financial year, the unit secured over 336 life sentences, with a conviction rate of 73% for crimes against women above 18 years of a, of 18 years old and 70% for crimes against children under 18 years of age masipunkule sisebenze sonke silwe nalenkinga esibhekene nayo yabantu abadlwe ngula omame Nezingane, Gisho, Nezalugaz, Imbar, Ishazo, Nobunsuela Boyalup. Bunsuela Boya Futobe Sabagai. Look up a Gonzai. Uma sitting in Sola Boyum to Sichuti Zenzo Zake Buluan. Government is adding other mechanisms to protect women, such as the protection from harassment bill, while the Domestic Violence Act also provides protection. It only applies to persons who are in a domestic relationship. The Protection from Harassment Bill also deals with harassment by persons who stoke their victims by means of electronic communication. In addition, the combating of trafficking in persons bill was passed by the National Assembly last year and is now at the National Council of Provinces. Once implemented, the law will assist women and children who are often victims of this heinous crime. 